So hello everyone. So um, in this video, we're gonna we're gonna create a uh, calculate uh, web page uh, to calculate the time difference between two days. For example, I have a date one is the August twenty second, which is a random day in, in the past, and date two is um, now. We want to see uh, how many days or how many months years away from from each other. Okay. And also, uh, we also want to see is to do something like this. It's like cow up, you know. In other words, we can call this a cow up um, timer as well. All right. So let's just get started. So we're gonna do something like this. This is the end product. Okay. So uh, let's open our uh, visual code text editor, whatever you like to use it. So I have a tutorial. A tutorial uh, folder which is empty right now I don't have anything else so um, the first thing we're gonna do is to create an index.html okay and then exclamation mark and tab so we have a template so we have like um, time difference in uh, count up all right so that's what we want the next thing we want to do is that um, we want to uh, to prepare some of the library. Again, um, we we want to we won't calculate the time manually uh, because it's either uh, in not precise or it's either very very complicated in. Uh, we want to we don't want to reinvent the wheel so we got the javascript library that can help us to calculate years month and days so we're gonna we're gonna use the the javascript library to save time and to be more accurate in our um, time difference um, cal calculation all right so the the javascript library that we're gonna use is that um, the that you call the that you call the moment all right so you can go here and then moment um, javascript library okay you can go here and you can come all the way here oops this this page no we want to we want to take the cdn um, you can either download it and then insert it, uh, link it to your file. You can just take the CD and I will just go ahead and take the CDN and click here, copy script tag as well. All right, not just URL, but the whole script tag. All right, you we'll copy that and go to our, um, after the title. Okay, so I'm gonna, gonna come in, it's called uh, Moment JavaScript library right this is the first uh, first library we need the second library we need is that um, it's called the moment precise range because it uh, well this one will help us um, to to calculate the time difference more easily all right let's go and find it. Uh, moment precise Range. I don't think they have CDN, right? But it can use a, a plugin, right? Um, let's see if we had to have the CDN file of it. Whoops, no. So we're gonna have the plugin. So the thing is that um, you you guys gonna have to download it. Yeah, we actually downloaded it. Let me try to do this first. I do this put here for example. Yep, it seems like we have a CDN for, for it as well. So um, let's just try that first. Alright, so so now we're gonna um, open um, we're gonna say something like um, calculate time difference. H1 uh, K 
calculate mean time difference between two dates all right and we're gonna save it now you can open it live server which is the plugin that can help you to monitor the real-time change you don't have to reload re reload the page all right so this is our new website let's close this one for now all right so you see uh, our page has nothing yet it just oh this is typo it just have a sentence say calculate time difference all right now I will, I will just go ahead and I will say something like uh, date 1 uh, 22nd August 2021 and now we're going to have um, day 2 which is now you can actually enter any date but in this tutorial we're going to focus on the difference time difference between a day in the past and now all right so what we want now we need to have another um, for example another heading that to output the uh, I'll have another heading and then with the ID uh, with the output ID all right so this will be where the output of our time difference will be out here okay which is that's one all right uh, all look good now we go to have a, a look you see here we already have, have that one uh, we can put them into a container um, yeah container here or in here do a little bit of style like margin 50 pixel auto and width um, with a width of 80 percent for example and right okay with something like this okay so let's work on the the javascript So we're gonna have a script. So right, the first thing we're gonna do is to create a function. All right, we're gonna create a function. Function to calculate calculate time difference. And then the second step, step two, we're gonna set interval. All right, we're gonna set interval. Um, the interval interval uh, is to make sure our function will reload or will run uh, will, will loop after like one second two seconds or something like that all right so the step one create function and to set interval so for step one um, you're gonna create a function by saying a function so I want to create a function called div if all right so we're gonna say the first time is that we're gonna have a a which is the day in the past so moment so for the day in the past um, the format will be the year 2021 um, and then we are doing the uh, 22nd august so 27 um, we will also take into account the hour minutes all right and second so we're gonna add it for example um, 30 31 and 12 seconds well this is just a random number you can just select your wrong but just uh, for this tutorial that's the, the example and then we got um, B which is uh, now you can actually add your own um, your own date but uh, we're gonna go with um, moment which is now this mean uh, it's current time all right this is a, a past time this is current time all right so 
the next thing we want to do is to calculate the difference between the two so diff and then we create a variable called diff and we will do moment um, and then precise diff which is the default uh, function precise diff we got a b and two all right um, so it doesn't matter if you put the a first or b first the, uh, the the javascript library can recognize it themselves it's important that you, you have the true parameter here so um, for this at this stage it will it will calculate the different time between the two and it will it will output something like um, It will give you some sort of a JSON file. Um, we can we can we can try it by by saying something like um, if we get it out here, if we get it out here. Okay, this is just for for you to see what it is. All right, if we get it out here, and then we do something like. Um, get document um, get element by ID um, remember the ID that we we, we put above which is uh, output get element by ID output and then no no inner 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 HTML Okay, there we go. All right. So, um, if we look at um, this, this is actually JSON stringify. This is the one. So, if I output it into the HTML browser, you will see that we have the results right here. Okay, that is, um, if you refer, that's the years, is months, days, hours, minutes, seconds. It actually the JavaScript library actually helps you to calculate all these things. You don't have to do it manually, which is often inaccurate or too complicated. So um, if you refresh it, it will be different, okay? Because this is static. Um, it will only calculate once in a while. Whenever you refresh the page, it will calculate a different result, all right? So we have an object and we have these parameters, all right? So the thing for us is to um, based on these parameters and then we we output it in a way that is comprehensible and that is to make it look like it is counting up you know like the second will keep counting up that's what we want exactly like this all right so we want to to output into the uh, the HTML page and make it look like it is actually counting up and it actually counting up all right Okay, so the next step we want to do, um, I'll show you how to do it. So, uh, but digit, I'll just put it here um, for you to understand what it is. Now we comment it out. All right, I just forgot deleted it. All right, so we come back to our function. We got the div function, and then we got an object. Object uh, with um, with years, months, um, day, hour, minutes, uh, and second. So we got an object with all sort of attribute. The next thing we want to do is that um, we're gonna create um, an interval. So, uh, but before that, if you want to output it, um, something like. Um, document no diff okay so diff if you can diff years and say diff equal diff year and then you you can output it out as uh, 
document dot get element by id and then output inner html equal div all right <coughs> to save time i'll just put in the get um, set interval here so set interval that means that um, we want the function to run with the function uh, 1000 millisecond uh, which is we want the function to run every after every one second the reason why i'm doing it right here in step two is that we want to see the results from the browser because if you don't do this um, the function doesn't run all right so the thing is i'm trying to show you that if i output diff with years what can we see from from the page all right so it's one is zero okay this is the one we can just mark it by um, having style and then color and we just say blue or blue violet whatever okay and come back and you see this one now if you if you change these two months you come back and you will see it's one all right which is the time that has been calculated for us so we can actually access different values the same thing for for days hour minutes and second the same thing for that but now let's try if i i do something like this um if i do something like this one it uh, diff months no diff year month and then if day hour minutes second all right so that will be year month day hour minutes Second. remember this is all plural so to be consistent you should add plural here although you can you don't have to but for this one it must be plural all right all good now if we add edit it out so we're gonna have something like div here and then we're gonna we're gonna say edit year all right year and then we continue to do that now it's right that's years and then it's a month month um days minutes here and then minutes before finally we got second okay so second all good now let's have a look no worry about the undefined year it's we just leave it there first one month six day to and actually counting all right so that's what we want yes this all look um, pretty good now and actually counting the reason why it count is because this set time interval right if we take it away it doesn't run all right so we actually have to do the set time interval now run it again so it's basically look pretty same we change it to green all right and come back and actually look pretty same but um, 
you can stop here and actually you can stop here if you're happy with this result um, but this, this is a tutorial I'm gonna show you how we can make sure that um, the second if it is less than um, 10 seconds it will have a zero in front of it and actually true for all other variables including days uh, month we want something like this if is it less than 10 less than 2 bigger then we want to add a zero in front of it all right but basically our uh, our count up and the time difference basically done with this it's pretty good if you're happy you can just stop the video all right so uh, for those who stay we're gonna go on to add another zero here zero here all right and ma make sure that um, if it is less than 10 it will have an extra zero in front as well all right so if you're gonna do if for something like something like this um, second let's wait for a second uh, we'll see what you see what I mean here the second it actually zero one it doesn't have a an extra zero in front of it if you want to do it then you can do something like uh, second uh, instead of it you can say something like um, if all right, so it says like dip second smaller than 10, then we can do, uh, we have a string and then let's dip second. All right, else we only dip second. So this is a, a function, this is a you see a if function uh, written in short form all right so we got an if function written in in short form so if if the second is less than 10 then we're gonna let it zero uh, we're gonna uh, concatenate zero in in front of it this is the first outcome if it is uh, 10 or above then we just leave it is there now let's come back to see how it's go Oh, we actually we actually we didn't calculate this second fast so um, in this case we're gonna have to do something uh, diff second we have to calculate it first all right now now it's all good uh, we didn't actually calculate um, how many seconds in the diff second so we have to put it out first and then use another function to say something like um, diff second equal diff second uh, yeah we're gonna do another if okay so we see now if it is less than 10 it will automatically add a zero in front of it all right and then if it is 10 and more than 10 then we don't have to worry about that okay all good now it look on good now but we didn't do that for days all right we, did, we didn't do that for years and so on so what we what we're gonna do is that um, we can do that similarly for all of the other variable years month days but it will take a lot of manual coding in time and look very unprofessional but you can choose to do, to do that if you want. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, another way that we can create a loop uh, that is much more efficient and it saves a lot of code. All right, so I should comment this out for now. All right, so what we're going to do is that we're going to loop through all of them. 
in s0 as needed if less than 10 all right so the way we loop through all of them is that we can first we can create an interval and then we're gonna run an array interval and then we got years remember plural months um days hour minutes second year month days hour minutes second all good of uh, this is for the loops and through all right so we're gonna do something like four var uh, equal to zero it's just a normal loop um, for in javascript so i less than interval length if i let an interval length then i plus plus so this is the, the fundamental loop format in javascript right what we want to do we want to have a variable called d which is diff it's just a different variable and then we got diff uh, interval yeah it's actually interval not interval it's interval we want to have a diff interval and we want to take the element no no we want to take the i so it will loop through and it instead of you do it if if years month days we can get rid rid of it because it will loop through the diff here and then it will automatically add each of the title here into the function in, into the loop because the i here actually run from from years month days hour minutes and seconds so it will continue that it this make this one redundant all right we don't we no longer need this one but i'll just leave this for now because we're not done yet the second thing here we calculate here it is a year month and so on but we didn't add the the zero if it's less than 10 for example less than 10 seconds we didn't add that so now the way we're going to do that is we're going to do vadi again and then we're going to do it a if if d less than 10 then we automatically add zero here with the all right else we're gonna let it at d else with me it's 10 or more we're gonna leave it at x all right so we got a loop we got the d but remember it will calculate for year month days and it will automatically replace we want somewhere to store our output for years and then months and days, hour, minutes. We don't want to do it loop through and then delete the previous result. We don't want that. So we create another uh, array. I want to call the output array. It's empty now. But in the loop, we actually put it in this output array. So we use the word push and then D, which is the which is the the result and then a space and then uh, you know intervals for example the first day would be year so we got a year the number in number and then a space and then we want to put the years out so the way we do that is to do some interval and then I okay now it seems pretty all right then we're gonna do something like um, document yeah we can go ahead and and uh, comment all of these things out or just get rid of them uh, this one will become also very redundant I'll register them as well. All right. So the next step is to output them. 
I'll put the result, the result in our page HTML. So we're gonna the way we're gonna do that is to document get element by ID output. In it. Instead of that, we're gonna say output. Save it. Go to. All right. So we're gonna we see now that we got years with a zero here. Uh, we got month with a zero, day with zero, hour zero, and so on. We can wait to see if the seconds actually have a zero in front of it. So remember, for this code, I already delete a lot of quotes. No, no, it's the, a lot of codes that we written before, and the function now look much cleaner. So by creating a loop, all right, and with the if and then an output array, we can put all of the results in the output and then and I put it in our browser in a neat way, not much code. All right, so the whole function is taking you around 12 lines of code and you can actually create a time difference calculation between two days and I'll put it into the, uh, the browser, all right? But here you see that the browser, we have a comma here and you don't want that, all right? So now we just don't want a comma, you want it to separate. So the way you can do that, that in output, you can add a word join and then you just this one. If you can, you can do this one or you can do this one, either way you like. But I'll just add a paste here instead of the comma. You come back and it's, the comma disappear. All right, so um, the one thing, now let's compare it to this one, the first, this is that the, the result and uh, this is the expected result and this is the one we're doing. Now we, we want to align it into the center, all right, as the last step. So we can do something like text align, center, and now it's going to be here. And now you see it, it's actually cal calculating. It looks like a count, a count up timer as well, all right? Okay, so um, thank you for watching. Hope um, this video has uh, helped you guys somehow in understand a little bit about um, the JavaScript library um, and how we can easily create a cow up. Uh, the difference between two days and also make it look like a cow up. All right. All good. Thanks. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.